So therefore, before we even start with this, because I do not want five more to come after me, I do not even want one to come after me. You went around. Andy kilt check a mirror as I do. Oh, you got mirrors on your shoes? <laughs> Wait for it. If you're lucky, I'll use it on you. <laughs> However, yes. However, there is a way to properly kill check a man. Would you like to know how this yeah. is done? Yeah. This is gonna be painful. This is my favorite <laughs> movie queen. You, sir. Yeah. 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 Very well, Lord and the Lady. The first step you. to properly kill Check a Man is you must first find your target. <laughs> and approach your target. <laughs> then you ask the gentleman if you may perform a kill check. Oh, sir, please. <laughs> I didn't even have to get the entire sentence out. I like it. The next step is very important. You must. I repeat, must ask the gentleman whether or not he has a significant other. <laughs> Skipping this step may cost you your life. <laughs> My lord, hast thou a significant other? I do, ma'am. And is your significant other here? Yes, ma'am. Where? Right here. You so answered that wrong. You should have said no. <laughs> My lord, I like 
my life. <laughs> Doing this without properly checking will end it. God save the Queen! God save the Queen! I don't know. I've met some of the significant others. <laughs> the next step is very important. Now that the significant other has been identified, you must ask the permission of the significant other. My lady, have I thy permission to perform a kill check? <laughs> Next, you assume the position. <laughs> significant other do in your bedroom. <laughs> Therefore, I am going to take the two fingers and I am going to go not immediately for the jewels. <laughs> that is not proper. <laughs> she did not. I don't care if it's fun for you. <laughs> your significant other may object. I am going to take two fingers and two fingers only and I'm going to start at the knee. And I'm going to run up the outside. Notice I said outside. Outside of the thigh. Where's the fun for us? Darling, this isn't fun for you. For once, we women get it. bestow this gentleman with. I may should have eased up on the corset today. I feel some heavy breathing. I saw your majesty. Now I said it takes a real man to wear a kilt. For any man can put on the plaid. But a real man knows how to properly wear it. For he knows how to strut. He knows how to pose. If he is a real man, he knows how to make them sweet sweat. And if he is a real man, he knows how to make a sporin dance. You ladies know what I'm talking about. And some of you men too. We don't judge. So therefore, I am going to have these gentlemen step off the stage forming a line. One by one, they will come across the stage demonstrating their okay. best strut. Their best pose. They will make we are those at the wild stage. They will make that kilt competition. Yeah. yeah. Contestant number one.
Everyone is very, very lonely around here. <laughs>
confabulate with mine. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <gosh. laughs> Come on. Okay, we have to <laughs>